In this video, we're going to look at the Surface Pro docking station for our Surface Pro 3. So let's go ahead and unbox it, hook it all up, see how it works. Before we unbox our Surface Pro dock for the Surface Pro 3, we'll take a little look over the box here. Surface Pro docking station compatible with Surface Pro 3. In the bottom of the box, over to the back, where you can see sort of a layout of what it's going to look like. You can see our security lock, power, mini display port, USB 2 ports, USB 3 ports, our gigabit ethernet, audio, and USB 3 over here on the side. And then a little information here, uh, turn your Surface Pro into a full desktop workstation. So it includes the docking station and 48 watt power supply. Pretty cool, all right. Let's go ahead and unbox our docking station. There'll be some tape here. Just cut that off, slide out this inner box, and flip this open. And here's our docking station. Go ahead and get the wrapping off. And as you can see on the side here, this is magnetic, so you can actually click your pin right to that. So the basics of how this works is just kind of flips open, put your surface in, lock it in. Okay. Look at the back here, but we'll take a little more detailed look here in a moment. Let's dig into the box a little more. This should be our power supply. Go ahead and open this up. Here's our power brick. And this here would plug into this side. Now I'm going to need an adapter for this. This actually came from the UK and I'm in the US, so I'll need to get an adapter to actually plug this in. And then a little bit of information here. Okay, so I believe that's everything in the box. Okay. So now we'll take a little closer look over the unit. It's sort of a plastic like material. You can see we have the Surface logo right here on the front. As we mentioned, it sort of clicks open like that and the Surface actually plugs into this port here, which if we look at our Surface Pro 3, that's going to be our power port right there. Turning to the back, so we have a lock, then our power we plug in, we have our uh, mini display port, USB 2, two of those, USB 3, our Ethernet port, audio output, and another USB 3 over here on the side, as well as that magnet for our Surface pin. Here is our Surface 3 pin. It clicks right on there. Stays handy for you. If you don't want to use, you know, the pin loop on your type cover. Moving to the bottom of the unit, Surface docking station. And there are rubberized feet here, rubber feet on this. So whenever you set it down, you can see with a little bit of weight in there, it's not going to be moving at all. So that will be nice for just putting your surface in and then you can use your hand, no problem. You won't be sliding around. So that's about it for a tour of the actual hardware here, this actual dock. Let's go ahead and put our surface in the dock. So here we have our surface Pro 3, we'll go ahead and put it in the dock here, and we'll want to line it up with our power port, the same port you use whenever you charge your Surface Pro 3. So you can just set it right in here with or without the cover. You can leave the cover on if you want, or if you don't want the cover, that's absolutely fine too. So you can fold this down or leave it up, up to you. Just set it on there. You can see it sets very nicely and simply lock it in. Okay, and of course, remove it, unlatch, pull it out, and you're good to go. So we'll do this one more time here, set it in here. And I'll let you see that port here lines right up with our power port here. So just make sure your surface is setting all the way down and lock it in. There we go, very secure. You can see that when using the dock, it does not impede our uh, type cover here at all. We're still able to set it up at our angle or pull it down flat up to you and we can of course still close it up 
while it's on the dock. And we can also use the surface without actually plugging the dock in. You won't be able to use all of the features of the dock, of course, but you know, if you just want like a stand, you can set it there and type away whatever you want to do, okay, without it even being plugged in. Now here we are on the back of the unit. Here's our power supply. We've got an adapter for our plug. So we'll go ahead and plug this in. And then we'll plug the other end here into our dock for our power. There we go. Now we have a little light. Hopefully you saw that come on. Let us know we are receiving power to our dock. And while we're at it, I'll go ahead and put a USB uh, flash drive into a port. I, I could actually put it into the USB 3 port if I wanted, being that USB 3 is compatible, backwards compatible with USB 2. We'll just pop this in here just to make sure our port works. Hopefully you heard that sound. So we'll turn this around. And now we'll open up the file explorer here. Make sure our USB, yeah, right there it is. Awesome. So no problems there. USB ports working right here in our dock. And also, let me mention that we turn our surface to the side. We can, you can see we still have our USB port free here and our mini display port is also free here. So we can actually put a mini display port on the dock and still have one open right here as well on the surface. So your dock does not take up any of your open ports on your Surface Pro 3. Very secure. Again, you can see that light right there letting us know it is on and powered. Now, of course, one thing you won't be able to do while it's in the dock is adjust the tilt because it's in a dock, so we can't use our kickstand, of course. So this is going to be the angle. It's going to be like it or not. So that's pretty much it for the Microsoft Surface Pro dock. Now, in another video, we'll show using a mini display port adapter plugging into our dock or our surface and hooking it up to a external monitor. But this has been the Microsoft Surface Pro dock, definitely worth the investment. Although there is another dock type out there. This is the kind that of course clips together. It's pretty nice. Um, definitely something to consider if you want to turn your surface experience into a more laptop or even a desktop sort of feel being that we have so many ports now that we can use and utilize many more usb ports one two three four five plus our usb port here so now we'll have six usb ports mini display ports audio output ethernet all right pretty cool stuff and of course we can pop our pin right there to the side it won't do that over here all right go check it out microsoft surface pro dock the Microsoft Surface Pro 3.